Shabbat Shalom. This week, we read the Torah portion of Balak. Before I begin talking about Balak, let me wish everybody a healthy, happy, and safe holiday weekend and a happy Independence Day. We read the Torah portion of Balak, and we always focus on Balak and Balaam. Balak, the king of Moab, Balaam, a prophet who he wants, who Balak wants to curse the children of Israel, and of course, he goes off on his way to curse the people, and the talking donkey tells him to turn back. And once Balaam tries to curse the people, he ultimately ends up blessing them. It's a very classic story. But what we sometimes forget in reading this story is that there's a very strict correlation between the Haftarah and the Torah portion, and that the two of them are in many ways instructions for the Jewish community throughout time. In the Torah portion, during Bilam's blessings, we not only read that the tents, the community of the children of Israel, Matobu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael, that their dwellings are beautiful, but we also read about a people that has yet to reach its potential. Er enev velo ata ashura velo karov. I behold them, Bilam says, for what they are not yet. And then, in the Haftorah, we see a people that's still struggling to reach their potential. We see a people that has rebelled against God. But ultimately, we see a people willing to come back, a people willing to learn, a people willing to correct their ways. And the prophet Micah puts it to us very succinctly. He says, all that you're required to do is to love justice, to do acts of chesed, acts of goodness, and to walk humbly with God. It seems like such a simple message, yet it's a message that we lose sight of very often. That historically the children of Israel have lost sight of, and that oftentimes it takes us something big, good or bad, in order to remind us of this very simple fact, not only of our Judaism, but essentially of human existence. I hope and I pray as we celebrate this Independence Day that not only the Jewish community, but that the world at large, and especially those of us here in our country, will heed this lesson. Love justice, do acts of goodness, and walk humbly with God. Shabbat Shalom.